Hi, I'm Daniel Dobrovkin, uh, known as DB. I am head of engineering at Artsy in New York City. There is the kind of technical debt where you are just not qualified to do the job and you wrote some really bad software and now everything is falling apart within three weeks of development. Uh, your product is not running, it's not scaling, it's not performant enough, it does not do uh, the features that you, you actually wanted it to do in the very beginning. It's worse when you keep uh, gluing more features on top of existing features and existing features break. So it's r it becomes really hard to develop the software when you realize that you are holding a very big code base that is very heavy to maneuver and that is uh, all problems, that's when you know that you have accrued too much technical debt. Um, now there is sometimes good technical debt, technical debt that you decide to incur voluntarily. Um, a good architect would always leave some amount of black box in his or her software, and uh, meaning that I don't have to implement a particular feature uh, to scale to a million users right now. It's good enough if it works for a thousand. And once I have maybe 10,000 users, then I have to rethink and rewrite it but it's not going to be a full restart. I kind of carved a box for myself uh, inside my application and I can just revisit a component later. That's good kind of technical debt, technical debt that I planned for having. Obviously you don't know everything up front and uh, you don't always know what kind of technical debt you're actually incurring. And that's why experience matters so much. Uh, good engineers who have seen all kinds of applications will be uh, cognizant of what kind of technical debt they are accruing. They will know better uh, where to implement something, or where to leave something alone, and uh, potentially take a shortcut. It's always about trade-offs. The problem is that you never know uh, what is going to happen uh, in your software application tomorrow. Business changes a lot, and maybe the direction you're going in today is not going to work tomorrow at all. So sometimes you are, uh, it's better to develop software faster than to develop software better, uh, as long as you're not accruing uh, such an amount of technical debt that it will paralyze you as the business turns direction.